Okay, so this is the last video from the Ultimate Reset, and I successfully completed 21 days of eating clean, no refund sugars, no processed foods, basically just staying very, very um, down to the basics of nutrition and food and fueling your body, and I feel great. I took my final measurements, I did my final weigh-in, and this morning I was 123.4 pounds. Um, I started out at 133.6 pounds, so I lost 10 pounds. My body fat went down 6%, um, which was really exciting. That was one of the things that I really wanted to focus on. Um, I lost two inches in my waist. I started off at 27 inches, now I'm 25 inches, which is pretty cool. Um, I lost um, two inches in my hips and kind of lower area. I lost an inch in my chest, so I didn't measure my arms or my thighs yet. I probably should have done that before, but already that's five inches that I've lost. So 10 pounds, 6% body fat decrease, five inches lost, uh, energy is great. The Ultimate Reset just really helped me to really think about how I view food and nutrition and what I put into my body and how I really um, just think about food and really cooking and doing all that great stuff and it's just, it was great. And I had the support of about 30 other people doing it with me so we were checking in every day on Facebook just with our struggles, with our challenges, um, our successes. Uh, you know, I think I had two major cravings. One, like the first week I craved a bacon cheeseburger and then this Recently, I was craving brownies, um, but I didn't cheat. I stayed committed, um, and it was a little difficult because during the reset, during the weekends, I was always traveling, and that was probably the hardest thing because I couldn't really cook the meal, so I had to just really think of like the basic foods that I could eat to stay on track and stay committed to the group. But, you know, it was great. Um, some people asked what were the worst things about the reset. Um, in my opinion, I think the worst things were um, the detox uh, supplement that you had to take week two. Um, you know, you had to take it three times a day. So it was just kind of like a lot. You had to, you know, do that stuff. But that was probably the worst thing. But I got through it. I stuck with it. It wasn't, like, that difficult. But, um, you know, if you are in a situation where you're looking to just – drop weight, drop body fat, drop inches, you've been working out, you've been doing everything right, quote unquote, but you're still not getting the results you're looking for, I would really encourage you to take a look at your nutrition and what you're putting into your body because that could really be sabotaging your success. And I know that's what was sabotaging my success because I was doing P90X and Insanity and all these great things, but because I had the mentality that, I, that was planted on me when I was 15 years old, one of my coaches told me that we work out so we can eat whatever we we want and that mentality stuck with me for almost 15 years where I realized that I can't eat whatever I want and work out and think that I'm still gonna have the same body that I've always had so I had to retrain the way I was thinking about food and fitness and how they both work hand in hand but the reset definitely proved that nutrition is the most important thing that's really what is going to get you the body that you want so if you are really struggling or just need to push through that last couple of pounds or just want to see a transformation or to jumpstart your fitness, I would definitely look into doing something like the reset, something that won't have you starving, that will actually give you food to fuel your body, where you won't have to starve yourself or, you know, just drink smoothies all day or, you know, lemonade and cayenne pepper and molasses or whatever. But it's really just a great program and it really gives you the foods that you need to really keep your body going. People are asking me, so what do you do now that you're off the reset? Well, I'm going to still incorporate a lot of the recipes because they were delicious. I'm going to incorporate a lot of those into my every day. Um, some things I'm going to work on is meatless Mondays and Tuesdays. So actually kind of trying to be more vegetarian and vegan on the beginning of the week. And also still staying pretty healthy throughout the week. But allowing myself to have at least one, you know, cheat meal, you know, a week. Because I do love food. Anyone who knows me lo knows that I love food. So I'm still going to incorporate a lot of the healthy things. But every now and then I might go out for pizza or go get a burger. But it's not going to make up majority of my diet anymore. Also, I'm going to make sure I keep drinking water because that's one thing that I wasn't doing before. Now I'm doing it and I see the difference. I see the difference in uh, my skin. I, I see the difference.
difference in how my body, you know, is reacting. Um, my joint inflammation is pretty much all taken care of, and I believe it's because I was drinking water. Um, my energy is through the roof. I'm still waking up, you know, at 7 o'clock now and just really getting my day started, keeping the discipline of, you know, eating throughout the day, not skipping meals. So I learned a lot about just discipline and as well as just, you know, how to eat. So. It's been a great journey. Um, I'm excited that I did it. I'm surprised that I did it. I thought that I would cave in. Um, and thank you to all my friends and my family who've been so supportive during the reset. Um, you guys were great. You guys, you know, stayed committed with me. You, you were positive, supportive. I never got one negative comment. Um, you know, thank you for those that went out to eat with me that helped me find meals that I could eat and, you know, weren't annoyed with the fact that I couldn't indulge or couldn't have a glass of wine or anything like that. So I just appreciate your support and just kind of sticking with me through this process. And if you're thinking about doing the reset and you want that support, I will definitely be here to help you in any way that I can to answer any questions that you have. So if you do have questions, you can comment on the video. I will do my best to answer them. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, wherever. I'm there. So just if you have any questions, just definitely let me know. But I'm signing off and I'm about to go enjoy the new Chocolate Shakeology because I couldn't drink the new Chocolate Shakeology on the reset. So I'm very excited to do that and um, just get started with the rest of my day. So thanks so much for watching and thanks for being on this journey with me. But in my opinion, the Ultimate Reset definitely rocks. I definitely endorse it, support it, think it's a great program. And if you're thinking about getting your health, your fitness, and your nutrition on track, this is a great way to get started.